Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the distributive property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. In our previous two videos, we talked about the distributive property, and we've gone over some examples of the distributive property. Well, we're working our way up, and we have a little harder examples here to work with. Our first example here, simplify y minus 2x plus 3. And the x plus 3 is in parentheses, so we're going to combine the distributive property with our normal operations. First thing I'm noticing here, I see the x plus 3, and I can't simplify that anymore. Then we have multiplication on the outside. That has to happen first. We got to distribute the 2. So I leave the 8 here, and I actually, this is how I prefer to do it, I take the minus 2, and I'll write this as a positive uh, plus a negative 2 right there to make the distributive easier. Okay? That's just how I like to see it. Minus 2 times an x. Minus 2 times the x, bring down the plus sign, and then minus 2 times the 3. So now let's go simplify where we can. We have an 8 now. We have plus a negative 2x right here. Right? Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then plus a negative. Negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. Well, now we want to combine our like terms. 8 and negative 6 are like terms being combined. We can put them next to each other, but we've seen that before, so we can kind of just do it now. 8 plus a negative 6 is a positive 2. Then we have plus a negative 2x here. That's a minus 2x. And there we got it. It's, our answer simplifies to be 2 minus a 2x. Now, the second example here is a little more difficult. We have two sets of parentheses, and we're going to apply the distributive property twice here. Okay? Now, watch it. We'll start with the first one 4 times the x. Got it. That's pretty easy. We bring down the minus sign here, and then we have 4 times the 8. Not too bad. But this minus sign becomes a little, well, tricky. We're going to distribute this minus sign. I'm going to show you a different way than we've done before. I'm going to just distribute right now from the whole get-go. We have minus times an x, minus x. We have a plus sign goes in between, and then we have minus times a 3, a negative 3. Now let's go simplify a little bit. 4 times x is a 4x, and then 4 times an 8 is a 32, minus 32. Then we have minus x comes down and a plus a negative 3. Well, now we want to combine our like terms. 4x and a negative x are our like terms. We're going to combine them together. 4x minus a 1x is a 3x. A negative 32 plus a negative 3 is a negative 35. Remember, it's like a minus 3 there. And there we have it. This one simplifies to be 3x minus a 35. Well, I hope you learned something on the distributive property here. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.